I think there's a diminishing interest in holiness, godliness among this generation of younger pastors because of pragmatism. There now have been several decades of basically pragmatism invading the church so that success is more related to style. It's more related to methodology. It's more related to creativity. It's sometimes related to natural gifts, you know, an effective communicator, a winsome personality, and all of that. There's a measure of sort of superficial success when you're a good communicator, when you're kind of a cool guy, and you can affect people, and, uh, and you can impact the crowd, and you can hold them and keep them entertained or whatever. Uh, so you can be successful in, in a kind of a human sense without godliness, but that's a superficial kind of success. And, and I think one of, the, one of the legacies of this move toward pragmatism has been the demise of an interest in godliness and virtue. And I, I think it also is related to the fact that instead of men spending hours and hours and hours in the word of God to prepare to preach and speak, they, they spend hours reading other things, learning culture, figuring out clever ways to communicate. It's about, again, it's about style. It's about even preaching antics. So they're not products of the deep understanding of the word of God. And look, Jesus said in John 17, 17, sanctify them by thy truth, thy word is truth. Unless you're embedded in the word of God consistently and regularly, uh, there's not going to be the production of the kind of holiness that God blesses in, in, in real supernatural ways.